Okay, so No Time to Die has just been released in Australia. Daniel Craig's last movie, but a uh, little known fact, um, I got offered a part of Bond back in 1996, and uh, I'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you what happened. So basically, we've got Barbara Broccoli. She, um, she was in charge of, of casting. Her father had died in 1996, uh, and uh, they were looking for, a, looking for a new Bond, even though Piers Brosnan... You know, he came out with Golden Eye was a huge success. So look look into the future. So they cast a cast a net wide, and uh, one of the one of the casting agents came across my photo here and on on the local local uh, fashion mag, the uh, Harris scarves, the department store, and they go, oh, this guy's got charisma. Look at that. Look at the guys just just round him like the charisma. He's just capturing everyone's attention. But you know they they. Told Barbara about this, and he goes, "Oh, yeah, he looks 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 too happy. I want someone a bit edgy, you know." She was, that's why that's why she picked um, Daniel Craig because you know he's got that edgy look. So, so they contacted me and said, "Um, you know, we're interested in you doing Bond, but you know, have you got any sort of edgy photos you can show us?" You know, and I thought, "Oh, hang on a minute, we better we better get dressed up here." And so I put on my uh, my Bond my Bond outfit there with the with the bow tie and the suspenders, you know. Didn't didn't have a uh, didn't have a uh, holster for my gun. Got my little toy gun there, and uh, took some photos with the self timer. Completely safe, not like Alec Baldwin. This was completely safe. Self timer. There's nobody else in the room. You know, and point doing the classic uh, Bond shot to camera uh, for the opening scene. Came back to Barbara. She goes, "This is amazing. This guy's just guy's just bloody amazing. We're gonna get him to England." So they put me on a first class flight. And off I go to England, and there I am in uh, King's College. They wanted to teach me about you know English society and and being you know very very sort of upper class, but but edgy, edgy but upper class, you know. So there I, there I was in uh, in King's College, and I wasn't I wasn't too convinced because I was sort of thinking, God, it's a long way from home. I might miss my family and everything. But Barbara, she's she's clever. She she knows how to get the she knows how to get the uh, get what she wants. So she offered me this Ferrari Testarossa, black Ferrari Testarossa. I thought, oh, this is this is quite nice. But you know, Barbara, you know Ferraris have got to come in red, man. And uh, the Ferrari F fifty had just come out. I said, Barbara, look, if you can get me a Ferrari F fifty, we'll we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So. Uh, so, true to word, there I am in the F50 cruising around London, England, uh, in my new Ferrari F50 that Barbara Broccoli had bought for me, trying to entice me to the Bond role. But um, it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> Two reasons. First, you know, I don't think I'd uh, be uh, too suited to the fame, all the, all the women just throwing themselves at me. And uh, second reason is it's an absolute load of bullocks. I <laughs> I didn't get offered to roll at all, but as Megan Mark would say, I've you know, got Megan here. What, what, what would you, what would you say if you were telling this story, Megan? I was yeah, such I a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, such a fraud. Now, the the real reason for this video is, as we know, Daniel Craig. He's he's last last time in the role, and I was thinking, who's going to be the next Bond? And this is a real reason for the video. I want, I want some feedback from you guys. Who do you think is going to be the next Bond? I've got some ideas. Uh, I'm not going to uh, tell you yet. I want to. I want to see some comments below who you think it should be. I've got. I've got my theories on who it should be, and 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 so forth. And I want to investigate all the different uh, permutations about a female Bond and that sort of thing. So next video is going to be about that. But first of all, leave your comments below. Who do you think is going to be the next Bond? Who do you think should be the next Bond? Who should Barbara pick? And uh, Cubby as well. Uh, who should they pick for the next Bond? So uh, we'll leave it there. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I, I might I might run through. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what all these what these photos are about actually. <laughs> so first one, yes, first one was a modelling pick. That's fine. These these ones were just me mucking around with my camera. <laughs> and uh, had my uh, trying out different lighting because back in the day, you know, it's not digital. This was back in nineteen, it was about nineteen ninety-two or something that was, and um, you had to uh, to completely out of focus too. 
but I was doing it all manually and uh, by myself and I was just trying out different lighting. I had like a, a, a flash and an umbrella and everything. So I was trying out different lighting scenarios and all that sort of thing. Now, this one here was actually in King's College in England when I visited my sister in 1996, who was working in England at the time. Uh, that's uh, this one here. That uh, is a Ferrari Testarossa, not mine though. It was just on the street. <laughs> and of course, the uh, Ferrari F50 uh, is just <laughs> a car I captured on, on London streets there. Pretty cool though, because uh, I think it came out in 1995, so it was only like a year old there. Um, yeah, so this was July 1996. So guys, yeah, just leave your comments below. Who do you think is going to be the next Bond? Who do you think should be the next Bond? If you love this video, give it a give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.